I, I mentioned that, you know, some people talk about storing the chi in the Dantian. And I think that's a, I think it's a useful idea, even though I don't think it's possible. I think it's a, um, it's something that you, you know, you can imagine that and say, oh yeah, I'm storing my chi in my Dantian. And, and what that does is it, it, all it means is you're getting so familiar with your, with your, that part of your body that you are able to contact it easily. The, I don't believe that the chi actually stays there very long. Anyway, you know, the chi is, is like breath. It goes through you, you breathe in, you breathe out. You know, in the meantime, the breath circulates through your body, it does its dance, and then it exhales and you, uh, it takes whatever it can from the uh, oxygen, you know, from the air feeds the, the body and then exhales with carbon dioxide. So you can say that you're storing it for 10 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute, you know, whatever, but it's, it's gone eventually, you know, it, it, it's passing through. Same thing with chi. So this is the difference. And conceptually, I, I like to think of it in terms of um, open and closed systems. A closed system means that to a greater or lesser degree, there is that system is not exchanging energy with the environment. So it, it's setting up a container like a terrarium, right? It's, it's like, oh yeah, we're, we're in this terrarium here and, we, and it's, it's this little space where little plants and rocks and things like that are hanging out and they are not exchanging much with the external environment. They're, they're kind of self-contained. Then, um, so with your body, with, when you're thinking about storing chi, most of the time people, when they're talking about that, they're thinking in terms of the chi being something that is being created by, the, uh, by breathing, by oxidation of food, things like that, so that it creates energy, which then you circulate within the system. And when we get into a microcosmic orbit, we are talking primarily about it as a closed system. That is, we're, we're circulating the chi within these channels, and that way we, we are um, taking the chi and we're directing it with our minds within this closed system. I prefer to think of things in terms of, of as an open system. That is that our body minds are not sealed off from the environment, that we are in relationship with on many, many levels, but particularly on an energetic level with the environment. And so whenever I talk about plugging into the big chi, that's what I'm talking about. I'm saying that, oh, you're not limited to your chi, the chi that, that is produced in your body mind. It's not limited to just what, to what you had for dinner and how well you're breathing. It's also how well you are plugged into the big chi, you know, the chi of earth and sky, uh, 